Hey gang, Jeff Stone here with day 55 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com and we've officially hit over a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Time to party. And I'm going to put a special video up this weekend telling you all the details, but I will tell you this, I'm giving away three um, grand prizes of lifetime free magic from Stone Cold Magic. That's right. Every single product that I ever released for the rest of your life, you get it for free. Plus everything that's already on my site. You're going to end up getting a code that you just put in when you place your order and it wipes out your balance to zero and you can order whatever you want. One of each, please. Not, uh, you know, 10 copies of everything. But we're giving away three of those uh, and then several different just individual DVDs and our books of mine. Plus a couple of, um, we'll just call them mystery products for right now from other producers out there. So we'll be telling you all about that on another video coming up this weekend. That is the last days of February. All the details to come. Anyway, on with the review. And thank you, by the way, for everybody who subscribed. Uh, and uh, over the last year, I've gained about 800 subscribers within the last year. Um, and that's all you guys watching. So I really do appreciate that. All right, let's take a look at today's video. It's Deranged by Jay Sankey. Um, take a look at the ad trailer for the for the for um, uh, what the effect is. It's kind of a little weird to explain, but uh, I can just give you kind of a rundown. Um, so here's what you get. You get those oh-so-coveted vinyl wallets. Um, you get a folded up, uh, it's a printout, which is your prediction. So first thing you do is you predict on your paper that this piece... You're going to have this postcard and you cut it up and, um, and there's even dotted lines there for you where you can cut it. Um, so you cut the postcard up, pieces are shuffled, um, and then, uh, they pick one and they, you predict that this was the piece that they'll pick, but they've also shuffled them face up, face down, and then they put them on the table and you, you know, complete the picture with the pieces that are face up and you predict that that, those are the pieces that will end up face up. So that's the effect. Um, there's one other little something down here that I'm not showing you. That's it's down here, right? It's right below the camera there. Not showing you that. Um, that's what makes it all possible. So if you like the effect uh, and go watch the ad trailer to, <laughs> to kind of get a sense. <laughs> Man, thought I was going to make it <laughs> through without coughing. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, go watch the ad trailer to get a sense of the, the effect to see if you like it. But I just gave you the basic idea of what the effect's going to be. Um, so the method is very simple. It requires the thing that I didn't show you um, and a little bit of sleight of hand. One is, um, you know, getting, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, getting the spectator to select one of the pieces. I was listening to Coast to Coast Radio the other night. And the DJ or the, the host was doing the same thing I'm doing. Like every second she was coughing. So I was like, all right, that's a professional radio show. She's getting paid to do that. And she was coughing. So I don't feel so bad. Anyway, sorry. I'll try to suppress them while we talk here. Anyway, so you have to be able to get the spectator to select a card. Uh, and by card, I mean one of these cut up pieces here. Um, and then he teaches several methods. Now, to be honest, those methods he teach teaches um if you've seen any of sankey's videos before you'll you're probably you're familiar with them he uses these methods quite a bit um due to the nature of the the props and the gimmicks involved i don't know that those are the best um methods for that selection uh but any I, I, well he does teach the classic selection <laughs> um he does cover that and it's actually the way it works with this but that's a pretty good way to do it but there's other methods that I would probably use over the ones he taught on there. That's probably the only negative thing I'd have to say about this product. So I didn't feel that the, all right, I'll say it, the forces, that the forces he taught, I didn't feel that they were the, the best suited for this particular thing. And when you watch it, you'll see exactly what I mean. And you'll also go, well, I'll just use a different force, the end. <clears throat> Secondly, there is a, a switch involved. Um, I'm not going to tell you too much details about that, how the switch works or any of that. But I will just tell you this. It's not the kind of thing that you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to get caught or it's going to come at the wrong time. No, it, I, I know this sounds crazy, but it's perfect. The way it's done is perfect. 
you will not get caught. I guarantee it. You'll be able to hand out those pieces to have them examined, take them back, make the switch, and I'm telling you, they will not know. Okay? That may be hard to believe, but I'm telling you, it's foolproof. Okay? It will, it's just fine. Now, he teaches multiple methods of how to do that. There's only one of those multiple methods that I feel is the right one that is foolproof. But it's on the video, and it's, you can't miss with it. It's just, it's perfect. Okay? So that's it. Um, product quality. These, these things are made, made really well. Um, and, uh, so, uh, I, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you about it. Uh, the DVD, the instruction on the DVD is, uh, it's thorough, but it's not too much. It's just the right amount. It covers everything and everything that you need to know to do this effect. So the bottom line is, is this effect worth 30 bucks to you? When you considering you get all the props, the, the, this little secret, something I didn't show you, plus this, plus the prediction, plus the vinyl wallets, which we all need more of those. Um, so if all that's worth 30 bucks to you and you can see yourself doing this effect in your repertoire, then it's a no brainer. Get it. 4.5 stars stone status of gem. So now it's time to like the video, share it out to everybody, subscribe to my channel. Cause we want to garden. What's our next goal? I don't know. 2000, 5,000, who knows? Uh, and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which today happens to be Oh, yeah. I love this song. This, um, this is I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. Now, if you saw the movie Bodyguard, that might have been the first time you heard that song by Whitney Houston. Uh, and then a lot of people who felt they were in the know said, no, that's not Whitney's song, that's Dolly Parton's song. She created it. Actually, no, it wasn't Dolly Parton's song either. It was Roger Whitaker's song. Um, and in fact, if you saw Bodyguard, they played his version of it in the movie, the scene where Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston are dancing and they played that version and that's the song they were dancing to. And so that's why it was poetic or whatever, where she sang that song at the end of the movie. So anyway, the one by Roger Whittaker is great too. I love Dolly Parton's version. That was beautiful. I love Dolly Parton's voice. She's amazing. I love Whitney Houston's. I don't think I've heard a version of that song that I didn't like, but now you know the history of that song. That's I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Tune in tomorrow on day 56 where we got a book by Paul Carnazzo um, ca called Al Altriodo. It's Italian. I don't know how to say it. Altriodo, I think, is how you'd say that. Um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs>